Ma'am, unfortunately, hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house. Unfortunately, um, you know, when I read stories like this, it's kind of difficult. It's kind of sad because, of, you know, it's just where we are as a society. And it's where I'm glad she's getting the help she needs because you got so many people who have these meltdowns and um, think all is good. But it's not. Amanda Bynes was placed on a psychiatric hold after being found roaming around the streets naked and alone after the troubled actress pulled out of a public reunion, you know, with her and, um, you know, the kids. Wow. Well, the young people. She pulled out the public appearance. Um, wow. The troubled actress was seen walking near downtown L.A. on Sunday without any clothes on. She waved the car down, telling the driver she was coming from a psychiatric hole before she called 911. Uh, Bynes was taken to a police station and placed on a 5150 psychiatric hole. Oh, boy. Sad. She just hasn't been able to pull it together. Um, of course, a 5150 is a legal action from the CA Welfare and Institute Institutions Code. It allows a qualified officer or a clinician to confine someone against their will for 72 hours, which can be extended. During this time, the person will be fully assessed for their mental health status. Bynes is currently hospitalized and will likely get care for several days. She is not believed to um, been hurt during the incident. Did she hurt anybody else? Um... They attacked, they counted her, her representative. Um, but I guess he doesn't want to respond just yet. Wow. Amanda Bynes walking around the neighborhoods of L.A. Butt naked, as we say. Wow. You know. Some of these people, I hope they get the help that they need. Because, like I said, the mind is a terrible thing to waste. Terrible. And um, it's also terrible to have challenges and not have them addressed. I'll see y'all in the next video. Get well, girl.